My name's uh, Gunesh Rajan. I'm a head and neck skull base surgeon at the Lucerne Canton Hospital in beautiful Lucerne, Switzerland. It's a, it's a totally different system in that sense, you know, standard surgical microscopes are based on an optical system with lenses and, you know, resolution and parallaxes, as you know, in a usual visual optical system. And uh, the robotic scope is different in that sense, that it's a digital system. So basically a system where you have, you have a lens, but after that, the whole, the way it works is totally different. So it means it's basically a software that controls the whole imaging processing analysis and the whole fine tuning. So that's, a, that's quite a different concept for a microscope, or in this case, a robotic scope. Well, there are several points, I guess. Um, one aspect is, and for me as a surgeon, one of the key aspects is the ergonomics during surgery. Because you know, sometimes we work for hours. We had to sit under the microscope and work. You know, if you have these long tumor operations, and reconstructions after that, you know, we work for hours, literally. So ergonomics is a very big aspect in our work. And with the robotic scope, we have the opportunity to basically simplify that and improve the ergonomics because we are moving the whole scope just by little movements of our head. Whereas the traditional surgical microscopes, you know, you use, use your hands to control them or you use your feet. And with the robotic scope, your hands are always free to operate. So you don't have to bother using your hands while, and you can still control the microscope. So for me, that's a very big you know, advantage. Well, it's very fascinating because uh, you, the robot, you know, a lot of people think the robot is doing the work, but as you correctly say, it's robotic assisted surgery. So the robot helps you as surgeon, it helps me as surgeon to improve the surgery, the outcomes for the patient, you know, and so they, it's all related to that. That's what we, why we're using these things. So with the robotic scope, you know, it, it just takes certain things to the next level. That's been a very exciting journey.